it just seems like it's been a very rough period of time. Address the whole period of the last few weeks. Well, in one sentence. <laughs> Ten words or less. That's one heck of a question. <laughs> Seriously. Well, it's, it's, it's a lot of stuff in one point. I mean, yeah, and you all have said an awful lot. Does anybody want to let me say anything? No. I no, didn't think so, but I will speak anyway. I'm really glad to be here, first of all. Thank you so much, Kojo, for having me on. I am actually very excited to be a part of this ticket. And it's been an exciting time for me. I think it's an exciting time for Maryland. And when I've been traveling around the state, th these are not the issues that people bring up. They yes, really but I aren't. Just did. And I, I know that you would, but just address this has been a whirlwind of three or four or five issues that have hit him. Some people think it's orchestrated by opponents, and I don't, but I want your view of how you assess the overall picture in a serious way. And how you see the campaign moving forward from well, here. Well, let's address the, this, this well, you know, first the, before we move forward. The, the, the issues right now are certainly, none of them are fun, but if you take each of them separately, there are things that I'm sure the other side is trying to throw dirt every time we're making progress. So let's just move on from there. Um, really the... You said the, the other side is throwing dirt? You mean the Let the, me the say campaign? that what we want to do is talk about issues, and that's not what we're getting from the other side. We have not heard but one issue from the other side, which was pre-K, which, by the way, came after Doug Gansler already announced his support for expanding pre-K. So while Doug Gansler has spent the summer going around the state, talking to people about his ideas for how to bring our state forward, and talking about some of the challenges. You know, one thing, as a member of the Ways and Means Committee, we talk about education issues. And every time someone sits before us and starts beating their chest about we have the number one school system in the nation, those of us from Prince George's and Baltimore City, we roll our eyes because you can't sugarcoat it. Sure, we have some fantastic schools in Maryland. Absolutely, we but, have a lot to be proud of. I mean, I'm going to finish know, my sentence. I know, but, but, but the problem is, that However, I need to ask. I, I, I would like to talk about the issues that matter, and I know you're going to. But you've said that the done that the other side has been throwing dirt from the other side. And now, who is the other side? Are you talking about the your opponent's campaign, or just people what? who don't aren't for you? Well, allow me to interrupt for a second and explain to our listening audience exactly what's going on here. What's going on here is that we have a campaign that is trying to get its message out, right. and that message is being interrupted by first one and now two incidents that have made the news. Jolene Ivey as the lieutenant governor wants to move beyond those issues. Tom Sherwood wants to have some explanation of those issues. So allow me to try to come in between by saying, okay, we have a campaign that's going to be going on for a while. This issue is going to be with us for a little while, but it is entirely possible that you can get past it. What do you have to do? in order to get past it you know, by, by addressing these I issues. You do have, have to address we've them. We've already you done it. I want to know who the person is. It's the already been dirt. done. What we have done is, number one, Doug Gansler's already apologized. He's already said, I made a mistake. And I think that's the first thing anybody has to do is acknowledge you have a problem. Now, what we're having a problem with in this state is the achievement gap. But nobody wants to acknowledge we have that problem. We still want to have sugar coating from the other side saying, oh, we're the number one schools in the country. Well, no, we might be as far as how much money we spend on our schools. But as far as the results we're getting, all of our children are not learning at the same rate. And that's what we need to address. And, and